This video provides information how you can uniquely identify Intech Pro compatible dongles from Holiday Coro. Now, a little bit of background. If you have a DMX universe, you can only achieve 512 channels in each universe. That means that if you have devices that equal more than 512 channels, you will need an additional output or universe to control those devices. We generally would recommend using an E131 device that outputs to multiple RS-45 universes. It's usually less expensive and more flexible, but if you wish to use multiple Holiday Coro dongles to output to multiple universes, you can do that. Now, to do that, we need to give each unit a unique name. When they come from the factory, each of these units has the same name, Intech Pro. We need to simply change that to a name of our own choosing so that LOR will be able to uniquely identify them. Now, why does LOR have an issue identifying when other applications may not? It's because LOR identifies and connects to these devices directly at the hardware level, not at the port level. As you may have noticed, whenever you plug in a dongle, whether that's an LOR, D-Lite, Intech, or Intech clone unit, it will show up as a COM port. That is one method of accessing these dongles for output, or it can be accessed at the hardware level. Now, what we want to do, just give it its own hardware name. So what we'll do first is go ahead, plug in one, and as you can see in Device Manager, we'll see that the COM port appears. Now, here we see a COM5, that is my existing PC's built-in COM port, so we can ignore that. This COM port is COM8, so we're gonna go ahead and go to Properties, details and if we scroll down here to parent we'll see that the name of the device is Intech Pro so we're gonna go ahead and click OK now we're going to change that name so we're gonna go ahead load up Improg 3 the link is available on HolidayQuo.com in the Intech Pro compatible Actodongle website go click run this program will run what we're going to first do is go read and parse. You more than likely will not receive this error. Now, what we see here is we can see that Intech Pro is the name. We can see that the chip type, which is FT245R, that's the FTDI chipset, is properly identified. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, no, we want to use our own name. Now, I currently have Universe 1 plugged up, so we're going to go Universe 1. Easy enough. So. We're going to go ahead and save this file by clicking the little Save Diskette. You can just give it any name you'd like. And now we're going to go ahead and program the dongle by clicking the little lightning bolt. Click OK. And we'll see that the device is now programmed as Universe 1. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and close the application. All right, I'm back from rebooting the PC. We have confirmed that the dongle is powered up and the driver is loaded and you can see that's indicated by the yellow light on the dongle. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and just do an extra check here. I'm going to properties of this COM port. We're going to go down to parent after we go to details. You can see it's universe 1 and this COM5 we're going to go to again parent and universe 2. So we're all good to go there. Now let's go ahead and load up the Lidorama Sequence Editor and configure this for use with the two universes. So, we'll simply go up here to Edit, Preferences, Network Preferences, and what I'm going to do is configure Universe 1, click on this, we're going to say the adapter, now you can see my built-in serial port, we're going to select Universe 1, and we're going to select Intech Pro USB, then we're going to select Universe 2, Intech Pro, and now we have them set up. Now, to map these over to channels, and as it mentions here, you will need to restart Lidorama, uh, we can go up here and we can add channels in here. And let's add a simple controller. We'll add a DMX Universe, 16 channels, and we'll add another controller, DMX Universe 2, click OK. Now, if we just click on this, you'll see that we have Universe 1 here, and that's how you'll define your channels and tell it to use which controller. And if we go here, you can see it's Universe 2. So, that's how easy it is to set up multiple Holiday Coro 
Intech-compatible dongles for use with LiDAR-rama.